What up, my followers and subscribers? Tanner Duncan here, and I have to say, I am finally back from vacation. It's been a week, I know. It's been a week. My last review was at my brother's house in Utah. And I have to say, the vacation was good. I, they were all happy to see me. I was happy to see him, him and his wife and my sister. She's getting married, by the way, so congratulations to her. Her fiance. Say is Taylor Trendler. I met the guy. He reminds me of Elder Al Bretson, who was one of my companions on my mission. Now, I am here to do a movie review, and the movie I just saw was Mary Poppins Returns. Now, before I get into the review, I'm sure some of you on my all my Facebook friends know, but what here's what my I'm going to announce to all my followers and subscribers. Just last week, I was auditioning for my college school production of Susical the Musical. And guess what? I got a call back! Yay! I'm in the show! I'm in the ensemble. I will begin January 14th for rehearsals. They're going to be on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 3.30 to 6.30. And our performances are March 29th through April 6th. So please buy your tickets now, my friends, if you want to come see the show. Now, anyway, on to the review. Now, I'm going to say it has been 54 years since this movie, since the first movie came out. And really, I didn't think they actually make a sequel 54 years later. Because, yes, the original one we're all, that we all know and love came out in 1964. And they made it into a Broadway musical in 2005. It's been, the last time I saw it was in January of 2010, so, yeah, it's been quite a long time since I've seen it. And I don't know if I'll see it again, but I just hope maybe one day I will. Now, this movie was actually really good. It's not bad. I would say it's really good. I mean, some of you might have seen the trailer say this would be a really easily forgotten sequel of all time because I'm sure there are some sequels that might be highly forgetful but I don't know this was a good sequel I mean I really liked it I enjoyed it I wouldn't say better than the original because there's no way anything could be better than the original unless you have different opinions about some things so I did think it didn't think it would be very good but I actually liked it I thought it was pretty good Though, it did have Dick Van Dyke in it, but he was a different character. And, instead of having Julie Andrews play her Mary Poppins, she was portrayed by a British actress named Emily Blunt. And I thought she was really, really, really good. I mean, the last two movies I thought she did really good in that I've seen her do was The Princess in Gulliver's Travel with Jack Black. And the Into the Woods movie as the baker's wife. We all, to those who know the show Into the Woods, the baker and baker's wife don't really have names. They just go by baker and baker's wife. Kind of strange if you ask me. Well, there was an actor. Instead of having name, okay, there was an actor named Lynn Manuel Miranda, if I pronounce it rightly. But in this movie, he plays Jack. Who is a street lighter and he was a former apprentice of Bert and he was really good I think he used to be on Broadway to those who know that please correct me if I'm wrong and the movie takes place right after the first movie Michael's grown up so is his sister Jane and Michael is a single father because he said his wife died a while ago and he has three kids two sons and one daughter and their names are Jacob, Georgie, and Anna and Jane has been living with him trying to help things out after he's having financial problems I'm going to say everything this was one good sequel and to those who love movies that 
had both live action and cartoon characters in it, like in the old day. Watch this. I recommend if you really miss those kind of movies. Well, thank you guys for watching this review. Please wish me the best of luck with my show, Suzuko, and any other shows I might do later. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and I say try your best, and we could all be practically perfect. Bye.